It's 2022. This is my second video, 2022. But I'm gonna it's the first one. Update video time. This is not a very good position for me. I am very low down. Anyways, yeah, uh, this is just kind of an update video along with my top five favorite videos I've made in the last year. Uh, if you just want updates, there you go. Before we start, you're probably wondering why I'm wearing a hat. Uh, that's really all I need to say. Let's start with the top five. So number five is the Godzilla video. This is kind of came when I realized, wow, there's a lot of Godzilla parodies. This one was a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm gonna spoil a lot of these videos, by the way. Also, this is all off the top of my head, so if I forget something, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I do enjoy that I talked about uh, Uncle Grandpa for like a minute long. That was fun. Like, yeah, I really like these like rapid fire paced videos where I just joke after joke after joke. This is one of the better ones. I like seeing like, a reaction to this one. Cause number one, people are like, why do you pick this? I've never heard of this character before. And then they hear a reason, they're like, oh, okay, that makes sense, that's actually really cool. Uh, yeah. So that was, a, that was a fun video. Did I miss some? Yes, but hey, it was a fun time. So number four is my only top 10, I made a top five of this, is the top 10 characters I like, everyone else hates. This was just, this was a really passionate thing. I had this idea ever since I like, even before I made the channel, a lot of these videos I had when I was really young, like the Disney fan theory video. I had that when I was back in like 2013, 2014. Yeah, so I've been holding on a lot of these videos for a long time, along with this one. I just like defending characters that no one else likes, but I have attachment to. Blue especially, that was like a big moment for me. And I'm gonna talk about Fosters more because that's a show that I hold very dear. But like Blue, Mr. Rossetti, it was, it was just fun to talk about things that no one else likes, but I do. It also got probably my favorite joke from this year. It also had a list scene. I demand to see High Five Ghost Penis. So number three is the Doof Machine Merch video. That was the big undertaking. Uh, on and off about six months to making that video. And uh, it was, yeah, uh, people have pointed out that some of the things I put lower do have use. I understand that. It's not perfect, but just, I feel like most people can realize the amount of effort I put into making that. It, it also really helped me love Fidget and Ferb even more than I already did. I just realized, wow, this show is much better than I actually thought it was going to be revisiting it. I just went back to it because I liked it as a kid. It'll probably still be an okay kid show. No, it's like, it's like really great. I had to do for first cosplay, that was fun. Yeah, just overall a really, really fun video that I obviously put a lot of time and effort into. I guess you can say it's my magnum opus, even if it's not my personal favorite video, but it's still a really, really big undertaking for this channel. And one that I feel like, but, well, it wasn't, well, it, it got better views than I was expecting from a 30 minute long video about a, a show from a non, from a non-existent YouTuber, but like, hey, I enjoyed making it and that's all that counts. Number two is the Lemon Grab video. I made that immediately after uh, I watched Adventure Time for the first time because I was like, wow, this show is way better than I expected it to be. So I made a video on it. Uh, yeah, I another video I put a lot of time and effort into. Lemon Grab is a character that really fascinates me more thinking about him. Uh, shout out to the comment section, by the way. Everyone else is like, um, like everyone, like, I get two reactions to this video. One is, I love Adventure Time. I forget Lemon Grab existed before you told me how freaked up he is. And two, uh, this, this video is great. I don't think this show looks very good. <laughs> so that was fun, I think. Um, yeah, this is just a really fun little analysis video. Really good was the one that got me into analysis making. Yeah, I, I think just it, it flows very well. I mean, obviously it's just it's kind of an examination of a single character. Well, I guess these multiple characters, though, that's confusing. Uh, one thing I want to note is you probably noticed halfway through, I changed shirts. That is not a mistake. If you look in the background of the video, every time I'm on screen, the Marceline figure moves until she's behind me, and then she starts moving back, and then I have the, the, the gray shirt. Uh, in the show, Marceline has the ability to drain the red out of an object, and that was kind of the, what the joke was supposed to be. Like, Marceline drains the red from my shirt, and now it's gray. Uh, so I, I really like background details and Easter eggs, so that's why I did that. And the Lemon Grab video is just a really fun time. Uh, we got to 
meme about a lemon who is actually really depressing. <laughs> and number one is the Monsters Inc. review. That is one I put so much time and love into. Uh, I usually don't try to be like sappy or emotional because it could feel forced, but I feel like most people really liked the part where I talked about Boo. I got some funny jokes in there. It was just good analysis of my favorite film. I feel like I got the point across very well. Yeah, this is this is another one of those things where like I want to strive to make this level of quality every video I make. Fun fact, by the way, the the water noose video that I made for the one villainous scene trend was actually taken from the script, and I just like okay, uh, let's let's try to cash on this trend that uh, Nintendo vs. Movies caused. And of course, uh, this th that video that I spent less than a day on uh, is my most viewed video on my entire channel, while the Monster Inc. video, which is the exact same subject that I put all my heart and soul and time and effort into, uh, that has less than 100 views, even though, that, even though that on the exact same subject. I hate my life. Okay, but that's enough. Well, actually, I do want to actually go over some honorable mentions quickly. It's just with videos I liked that I didn't put in the top five because of reasons. Talking Witches got my friend to watch Hilda, so that's great. I also like talking about all this other stuff that I like, and it's just a really fun video. Death Battle one was really successful, and I will never make another Death Battle video again because I realized that people will literally murder you if you don't want the exact same matchups they want. I'm sorry that I put up Koro Sensei against the funny skeleton man instead of the funny bear, okay? I'm sorry for ruining the sanctity of the web series to have their 150th episode be Machine vs. Kool-Aid Man. I made a severe confusion lapse in my judgment, but also it's, it's, it's a fun time where I, you know, talk about freaking Roz vs. Job of the Hut. And also, uh, Stitch vs. Amethyst is probably my number one now. I, the more I think about that battle, the more I want it. I even wrote it in to the death battle submission form. And even though some people some people have pointed out that it is actually a stomp because Stitch can like blow up a black hole that was saved to destroy a galaxy, but like frick you, it's still a fun idea and they have done stomps before, so do it, Citrus Amethyst. I know Death Bell's watching me make that. I really like most of my videos, so I'm not gonna go over them all. Like, if I don't mention them, just assume that I do like them. Um, yeah, let's get on to the updates. I should also mention the collab I did with my friend Us, but I didn't mention it due to my lack of brain cells. So, update time. What is coming up in the future? Well, uh, the first thing is I saw Encanto recently, and that was like a really freaking good movie. I'm like, wow, I should make a video on Encanto. Everyone else already made a video on Encanto, so I'm gonna do it anyways, because my life. It is a ranking of every song, and it should be out sometime either this month or next month. Probably this month, because it's gonna be a shorter video. Um, after that, I keep promising a current Curly Dog review. It is coming. I'm waiting for a prop. It should hopefully be here. The, uh, after I make the Encanto video, that's really all I can say. Yeah, uh, it's hopefully coming. I might need to push it back one more spot though, if it conflicts with Valentine's Day, because I am making a Valentine's Day video, and yeah, I don't want that to overlap. I don't. I won't tell you what the video is about because it's supposed to be a surprise. But Valentine's Day video is going to be really fun. What else am I making? I need to check my computer. <laughs> You can tell I'm very prepared, can't you? This isn't scripted, this is just off the top of my head. I'm, I'm, I probably forgot like one of my favorite videos when I'm going over it. Anyways, yeah, let's, let's talk about the other things I have planned. Okay, so I'm just gonna read off all this stuff here. After Courage or Valentine's will be the Smash Ages remake video thing, which I promised. And then after that will be the roster for, uh, for, for Disney movies. Disney movies, not TV shows, we'll get to that later. Or the fighting game rosters that I'm doing. Those are the only ones I have written. But after that, Top Ten Superheroes not for Marvel or DC. Cartoon Theories debunked. Most evil Nintendo villain. Top Ten Trains. Top something or other cartoon intros. Defending every Disney villain. The Disney TV roster, because the first one's just movies, but the second one's gonna be TV. I don't know if it'll be 
in this time frame though, because I need to rewatch Disney TV shows. I should mention I'm trying to cut back on making so many top 10 lists because I know I kind of flooded this this channel the last year with top 10 lists. So I promise I will try to cut back on that still. I, I will have, of course, a couple more coming out, but I am trying to cut back on that. Anyways, the next one is Top 10 Shield. <laughs> and uh, Foster Home, I already said that one. Uh, top 15 Dragons and some other stuff. I'm not gonna go over all of them. I, ha I have 43 videos listed on this list right now. April Fool's Day planned. I have Mother's Day and Father's Day planned. I already told you Valentine's Day. I don't know, is Shrek 5 coming out? Because I, I have this month planned for the entirety of Shrek month, but I don't know if Shrek 5 is coming out this year. So yeah. But yeah, that's pretty much what I have planned. Uh, more reviews, still more lists, so I'm gonna try to cut back on that. Um, two more rosters, which will probably be the last of the roster related videos because I don't know what else to do with it. Um, more dumb, stupid analysis videos. So yeah, again, I have 43 video ideas listed here, so don't expect me to say all of them in this video, but they are all coming, maybe, hopefully, eventually. Yeah, I actually want to thank everyone for watching this channel throughout this year. Uh, I don't have the biggest fan base, obviously, but I just, you make me happy, okay? Uh, so I believe last time I checked, I have 320 something subscribers. I do generally think this year we will get to 500 where I will do my top 20 favorite cartoons and maybe we'll eventually get to a thousand. I don't know. I want to do top 30 favorite characters for that. I don't think I'm ever going to get there because we've been moving very slowly. But yeah, who, who knows? I, I did get a couple big boosts from the Nick video, the uh, Water News video, and a couple others. So maybe we can get another big boost and hopefully people actually stay instead of just watching the one-off video instead of you know, watching all my other stuff, I put actual passion and effort into. <laughs> Anyways, I don't want to talk any longer because I have a little on my head. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I hope to make 2022 even better than 2021. Next video will be the Encanto one, followed by either the Valentine's Day video or the Courage one. The Courage one is beautiful. I love the Courage video so much, but we got to wait for stuff to happen. So thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. I love you all. Yes, even you, Jimmy. I know we had our hard times, but I do care for you deep down. Peace.